Hello, um, it's a quick video from me today because I just want to show you the Travel Hack cabin case, the all new, new and improved. This one is the Travel Hack Pro cabin case. Um, it's very similar to the last case, but there have been a few little changes and improvements. So I just want to show you the case, explain the improvements and um, basically explain to you why it's so awesome. Um, so yeah, this is a cabin case that I designed with a company called Cabin Max and they specialise in cabin luggage but the biggest possible cabin luggage that you can possibly get on a plane. So as you can see it's pretty big. Um, it's actually quite a lot bigger than most people expect it to be but I can assure you this is within the guidelines to get on a plane. Um, I've taken on this on as hand luggage for loads of flights. I've done loads of Ryanair flights, loads of EasyJet, loads of Jet2, um, Wow Air. Is it wow air? Yeah, wow air. Um, a couple more as well, and I've never had a problem getting it on. So even though it feels like it's massive, it is within the um, the size that you're allowed on. So don't worry about that. And because it's so big, you can obviously get loads in it, and therefore save money on not checking in luggage. Um, so let me just show you around the case. Um, we have, of course, the gorgeous leather tag with the Travel Hack logo embossed on it, which I am a big fan of. If we move inside the case, we can see um, that it's absolutely huge inside. There's loads of space in there. It is absolutely massive. You can get loads and loads of stuff in there. There's a few straps in there as well, which make it a bit easier to um, tidy up your case and keep everything nice and compact. There are two um, smaller internal pockets as well which are quite handy. I use that for things like um, underwear or just like keeping little bits and bobs nice and um, organised in there. So that's the inside, which is pretty big. And then we have uh, my absolute favourite part of the suitcase is this top compartment up here. So if you can see, that is um, one big pocket there. Um, so this top pocket has been designed like this for two reasons. Um, first of all, it was aimed to be a like a handbag compartment. So you know how there's some airlines you're not allowed to take a handbag as well as a suitcase on board. You're only allowed one piece of hand luggage. Um, but you've got your handbag there anyway, your purse and your phone and your Kindle and your snacks and that kind of thing in it. So it's really annoying that you have to put your handbag inside your suitcase and then as soon as you board the plane, you, you want to get it straight back out again. So this pocket here is really, really handy because you can just pop your handbag in there, zip it up to board the flight, and then as soon as you board, just unzip it and take your bag back out again. Um, so I found that really handy. That's my favourite thing about it. It's also a nice compartment to put your liquids in. So when you're going through airport security and um, you've got to quickly whip all of your liquids and your electronics and things like that, your hair straighteners and um, maybe your camera and things like that, you have to take them out of your suitcase. And it's just a pain when you're rummaging through the main compartment of your suitcase trying to find these things to take out and you're getting really flustered and they're really rushing you and um, so it's nice to have this big compartment where you can put all those things so when you get up to security you can just unzip that whip everything out the top pocket put it straight on the uh, conveyor belt thing for the security and then put the rest of this suitcase on just whole so that's just a really handy compartment and if I'm honest I don't know why more suitcases don't have them most suitcases are just one big compartment and it's just a pain and um, so yeah that's my favorite favorite thing We've also got some, um, I don't know, one more thing. We have the um, laptop compartment on the back. So this is a bit padded um, and that's the perfect size for a MacBook Pro. Um, so yeah, I really like that. I also like that because when you can get on the plane, if you plan to do work on the plane, you can just easily whip that out your bag without, again, having to open it and rummage through. That is, of course, handle. It's all the way up. These are still the tags. I've left these tags on here because um, it's got my picture. And a bit more information about me um, and my case. And yeah, it's just a bit exciting there. Um, so there's a handle here which comes out a bit to, uh, to grab it. Um, a new feature on the case is... Um, this kind of water, it's a water bottle holder here, 
but um, I think you could also use it for documents as well. Um, it's the perfect size for a passport to fit in, so obviously you wouldn't want to leave your documents in there all the time, but just as you're going through security and boarding the plane and stuff where you need constant access to them, that's quite a handy pocket there to pop those things in. Um, another new feature for the case is with this top compartment, this um, kind of floor in the top compartment is now collapsible, so if you don't want to use that top handbag compartment, you can fold that down um, if you wanted to. There's a couple more inside pockets. Um, and yeah, that's it. That is the Travel Hack suitcase. Travel Hack Pro cabin case, I should say now. Um, I'm really, really happy with it. Really, really proud of it. Um, yeah, really glad that this has happened. Another new thing, sorry, I almost forgot. Another new thing with the new one is it's got different zips on it. So there was a problem with some of the last batch of them where they didn't all have the strongest zips. But now they have these new zips, which are still this lovely um, rose goldy colour. Um, but they are super duper strong and they're never ever going to come open. So um, that's probably the biggest change for this case now. Anyway, I hope you like it. And if you have any questions... Um, just leave me a comment and I'll answer straight away um, and you'll also find the link to where you can buy the Travel Hack Pro cabin case online as well. Thanks for watching!